Hello guys, welcome back. So now we are going to solve the last challenge of this flaws.cloud level six. So what does level six is telling? For this final challenge, you are getting a user access key that has the security audit policy attached to it, which means first of all, we are going to create a profile by this key ID and secret access key. And then we are trying to get IAM details, like what policies are attached with this user, what we can do with those policies. So let's get going. I will just copy this. I will go to my command prompt. I will type AWS configure. And here I will give the profile name as uh, L6 short form. Uh, let's go with the level six name. This is the access key ID. I'm just pasting it here. And then this is my secret access key. I'll paste it here. By default, I know that this is hosted in US West 2. So I'm keeping it there and JSON format done. We are done with the AWS configure. We have set up the profile. Now we'll see what all policies we have. So first of all, let's see AWS IAM get hyphen user profile level six. Okay, so the username is level six. So next thing is we are going to find out in this IAM what all the policies we can get. So there is something called list attached user policy. We'll just search for that attached user policies and we'll see what the syntax is. So the required parameter is username and then list attached user policies. Okay. So we'll type AWS IAM list attached user policies and it needs username user hyphen name okay user hyphen name and the name is level six it needs to know from which profile it has to take the credits so i'm typing level six here again yeah so there are two attached policies now with this my security audit we might get all the details like what all the audit permissions are there for this user profile but finally we need to get a url for the level six end right so this would be of our interest list underscore api gateways so now we'll try to get the list access so now we'll try to get the policy details so we need to copy this arn I copied it now AWS I am get policy so we'll see uh, what is the syntax for get policy so it is get policy and hyphen hyphen policy ARN hyphen hyphen policy ARN and this ARN it needs to know from which profile it has to take it so i'm giving level six yes so we got the policy details what are all the interesting things here for this policy this is the policy id which is new thing from this one and the version is version four now we need to get the details of this policy details with this version go to here and then find out get hyphen policy hyphen version get hyphen policy hyphen version now it needs two things get policy version policy rn and version id so version id is v4 and policy rn we already know that 
again we will copy this now aws im get hyphen policy hyphen version and uh, then hyphen hyphen policy hyphen arn which i had just copy pasted and then it was hyphen hyphen version id hyphen hyphen version id which was v4 of course we need to type the profile name level 6 okay so the resource is api you can see this api gateway it is using api gateway get method and all these things are in hosted in us hyphen west to reason rest api slash star so this is of our hint which means this api gateway is being used and probably it will use a lambda function so our next target will be to figure out what are all the lambda functions are there and how we can leverage those details to form a url with the lambda execution url okay so we'll see the next step or it is taking time so you can directly type aws cli and lambda so just click on that now we need to get the function details get function and the function name so this is the lambda cli page now we need to know what are all the functions are there so we'll first list that those functions so it's directly aws list functions with aws lambda right so first of all we'll go there we'll type aws and then lambda and then list function it is function or functions functions okay and the profile level six yeah so now i got like there is one function attached with this user function name is level six function ar and is again level six okay so runtime python 2.7 means this lambda is written in python okay and this is the service role level six so now we need to get the details of its version so now we need to get the detail of this function policy right so what are all the details we can find out with this level six so first of all we'll go there we'll go back and then there is something called get policy it says you can get the returns the resource based im policy for a function version or alias so what are all the policies attached with this function name again we need to type aws lambda and then get policy get hyphen policy and a function name so we saw the function name is level 6 so we'll type level 6 and we need to pass profile level 6 so we'll get the details of this policy so with this policy we came to know that there is an action lambda invoke function whose resource is this one and condition is execute api so it is going to execute an api this is nothing but an api id so we would need this so i'm just copying it so now we need to know about this api gateway where we are going to execute this with this api id so we'll go there back we'll type again aws cli api gateway we are already there now we need to see the function get stages get hyphen stages with this what we needed is a rest api id which we copied from here okay so api gateway get stages 
will type AWS API gateway and get stages hyphen hyphen profile level six. Do we need to pass anything? Yeah, this is the required one. Re hyphen hyphen rest hyphen API ID. So we'll pass that hyphen hyphen rest hyphen API hyphen ID and this was the API ID. Okay, so we got the stage name here, which we would need to create an URL. So now we are almost there. We got a stage name, we got API ID, right? And we got the function name. So function name is level six. Note down here is, here the function name was with capital L, but when we are going to call this, it is with the level six, get level six. So we need to type this get level six. So now how to figure out what will be the execute IP, API, sorry. What will be the uh, proper URL to execute this API? So that also will search here in uh, browser. So AWS API gateway execute API format invoking a REST API in Amazon API gateway. So this is our thing. So this is the URL HTTPS REST API ID. We got that REST API ID dot execute IP will be there. Region we know US hyphen West hyphen two and it is stage name. Stage name is prod. We got to know that and then it's a get function. Now with the get, we figured out that it is not just the get after get, we have to type level six. So which means let's try out to make a URL HTTPS and then it is telling REST API ID. So we'll copy again the REST API ID from here. We'll paste it here. After this REST API ID, it is dot execute API. Dot execute hyphen API. After that, what we need is a region. So dot US hyphen West hyphen two. Dot what's next? Amazon AWS dot com. So we'll type that Amazon dot AWS dot com. Okay, it's not dot here, AWS, Amazon. Now the stage name, stage name is prod. We'll confirm back again here. We need to find out the stage name. Yeah, here we got it. So here we got it. The stage name is prod. So we'll go back, we'll type prod. And if you just try to run this, it might not run because missing authentication token is there. Now, if I type level six, by knowing from here that this is going to call get and this level six. So function name is level six. And here also what we are going to find with this get is level six. So we'll type level six. Now we got something, we got an URL. If I copy this, if I paste it here, voila, we are at the end. So I hope you would like our solutions. And if you have any different solutions, what we have shown it here, please put that in comment. It will be highly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching our videos. Stay tuned for our next videos. Thank you.